Hey everybody, hope you're doing great today. I know it's a weird time, but I'm not gonna go into that because it's weird for us all. But I thought it may be a good time to just kind of uh, introduce you to just one of the little uh, claim documentaries I've done. This one I didn't do recently, but uh, I worked with a wonderful public adjuster and wonderful set of attorneys on this, and uh, it was just good to see it done. And, and it, it kind of has a really uh, warm place in my heart. Let's roll it. Hey everybody, what you're about to see is a, about a nine minute uh, documentary we did on um, just kind of positioning and understanding the whole idea of this school that had been burned. Now part of it had, has gone all the way to the ground. Uh, they had taken all but the, the footers up because the carrier didn't want to take the footers, which was a little weird. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it was, it was a, kind of an L-shaped building and the part that was the classrooms was pretty, pretty well burned, whole chunks taken out the side. You'll see. Um, and it was, it was part of an insurance claim that a public adjuster was handling that, uh, well, that I consider a dear friend of mine. And, uh, you know, this particular one, um, I'll never forget it as long as I live. I, w I was there with our team and I was standing on the corner just looking at it and this, uh, this kid walked up he was probably barely five feet tall. And he said, hey, mister, when am I gonna get my gym back? And I said, I'm not really sure, but I'm really working hard to make that happen. He said, yeah, I'll probably still be playing in the junior high when I'm graduating and turned and walked away. Nobody work makes you work harder than a kid. Hope you like it. It's uh, very basic. The idea behind this was uh, to basically take the larger damage and kind of just condense it down where someone could, could digest it pretty easily. Uh, whether it be a uh, claims manager, some people in litigation, mediation, appraisal, or, or, or you know, in front of a jury. Today, we're at the Cameron Hub School. This school was burned severely. The flame started in the gymnasium, which was attached. It affected the entire structure that was attached. It also completely was a total loss to the, to the gymnasium. In addition to that, two buildings next door to this larger unit that's this burned out unit that I'm in right now, actually received damage to the roof due to the expansive waves and debris that were blown during the, during the event. It was a very hot event. Uh, bent, bent metal, in fact, metal, very large metal beams. Very impressive fire on many levels. The, the quandary with this particular loss is really boils down to the particulars of the fact that it, one, is a school, um, and two, that the building that I am in is, is, is damaged to a level that, that rises far above 50% by, by really everybody's estimations. What we're gonna find out as we look around is we're gonna see that everything was touched by soot, smoke, much was touched by flame, and much is damaged at a level that uh, this building will not be used again before it is demolished. There are ADA requirements that must be addressed uh, everything from uh, where the uh, outlets uh, are, are sitting to the way bathrooms are done, 
which way access to the building is done. There are code requirements that deal with uh, the slab and a monolithic pour, which will also force us to put um, metal into the structure, which the walls that you see have no metal in them. And because of that, they're not meeting present code. This is a major loss and it's very negatively affected the school district. Absolute haste is needed. We have documented this loss to a level that is reasonable and appropriate for the entire claim.